The building's balance sheet is a snapshot in time of what the building owns, or assets, what it owes, or liabilities, and its net worth, or equity. Cash and Reserves A standard rule of thumb when evaluating a building's cash and cash equivalents balance is to make sure that it has a reserve worth three to six months of the building's normal operating expenses in addition to any anticipated capital improvements for the next 12 months. Accounts Receivable you shouldn't see large accounts receivable balances for a normal co-op or condo building. Generally, the only accounts receivables you might see will be payments owed from co-op shareholders, condo owners, or commercial tenants. It's concerning if you do have commercial tenants or unit owners in arrears on their payments. Any such arrears or large accounts receivable balances should be scrutinized further. Accounts Payable A normal co-op or condo building should not have a high accounts payable balance. Bills in a normal building are paid promptly when received. There shouldn't be debt accumulating, and an excessive amount of accounts payable owed to vendors may indicate that the building is undergoing financial trouble. As a general rule of thumb, you should do further due diligence if the accounts payable balance is greater than 10% of the annual building revenue. Debt. Mortgages on the building are common for co-op buildings, especially if they own the land. Mortgages are relatively rare on an entire condo building because a condo association only has the power to levy common charges but does not own the entire building and land as a co-op corporation can. Mortgages on co-op buildings are often five-year interest-only loans these days. If you see that a mortgage will expire in four or five months, then a refinancing should have been completed already. In practice, there's very little risk of a co-op building not being able to refinance its mortgage. A co-op building may have to pay a higher interest rate or set aside more cash and reserves to satisfy the bank, but it typically can always refinance if it wants to. Note that the balance sheet will divide the debt balance into two sections, one reflecting the current portion and the other reflecting the long-term portion. Do condo and co-op financial statements need to be audited? Buildings in New York City are not required to have audited financial statements. This is fortunate for smaller buildings because audited financial statements are much more expensive to compile versus unaudited financial statements. Because of the greater expense of getting financial statements officially audited, you would only expect to see buildings with at least 20 to 25 units pay up for audited financial statements. If a larger building does not have audited financial statements, you should consider this to be a red flag that warrants additional scrutiny. Learn more about how you can get help from an experienced buyer's broker for free, plus save $20,000 or more on closing costs through a Housit Buyer Closing Credit at www.houseit.com.